Tuesday, August 29, 2023. First reading. 1 Thessalonians 2 verses 1 to 8. You yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our reception among you was not without effect. Rather, after we had suffered and been insolently treated. As you know, in Philippi, we drew courage through our God to speak to you the gospel of God with much struggle. Our exhortation was not from delusion or impure motives, nor did it work through deception. But as we were judged worthy by God to be entrusted with the gospel, that is how we speak, not as trying to please men, but rather God, who judges our hearts. Nor, indeed, did we ever appear with flattering speech, as you know, or with a pretext for greed, God is witness. Nor did we seek praise from men, either from you or from others. Although we were able to impose our weight as apostles of Christ, rather, we were gentle among you, as a nursing mother cares for her children. With such affection for you, we were determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our very selves as well. So dearly beloved had you become to us. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm You have searched me and you know me, Lord. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. O oh Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. Even before a word is on my tongue. Behold, O Lord, you know the whole of it. Behind me and before, you hem me in and rest your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel According to Mark Glory to you, O Lord. Herod was the one who had John the Baptist arrested and bound in prison. On account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married, John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him, and wanted to kill him but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak he was very much perplexed. Yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughter came in, and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, what shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once. On a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed. But because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. 
he went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl in turn gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Reflection The Sanctuary Within You Jesus describes the Pharisees as being blind guides and hypocrites who only cared about their external appearance, neglecting the more important interior of the soul. He uses contrasting images to illustrate this point, such as straining out the gnat and swallowing the camel, which were references to Leviticus laws that forbade eating swarming creatures. The Pharisees were accused of distorting the smallest details of the law while ignoring the most important ones. Jesus emphasizes the importance of looking into our own souls first and foremost, as from there, our exterior will radiate the holiness of God. The conscience, as described in Vatican II's Gaudium et Spes, is the most secret core and sanctuary of a man, where he is alone with God. It is essential to focus on our inner life, the secret core, where we meet God, rather than how others look at us. The Pharisees failed to understand this essential truth, as they put all their energy into their public image, neglecting that which was most important. They failed to be a true guide to holiness for others. Reflecting on your soul, reflect on how often you look inside yourself, be honest with yourself, and be grateful for your virtue. Turn your eyes to the secret sanctuary within, as it is there that you will meet God, grow in holiness, and radiate that true holiness within our world. When that happens, God will also use you to be a true guide to holiness for others. In conclusion, Jesus urges us to focus on our inner sanctity and become an instrument of holiness for others.